Do you want to learn how to make an F letter uh, like this E but in this way with right angle weave technique? So I will teach you how to do it after the jingle. <music> Hi everyone and welcome back to the, this new video. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make an F letter with the right angle weave technique and rondel beads. In the previous tutorial I have showed you how to make this cute E and I will leave you the link in the description below. And in this video I will show you how to make an F letter and with this letter you you can make uh, earrings, pendants, uh, keychains uh, or whatever you want. It is really easy and fast to do and so let's get started. We need very few supplies uh, to make our uh, F letter. I'm using Fireline thread a 0.15 millimeter and smoky color but if you want a more strong work you can use monofilament thread. I am using uh, the smoky color because the color of the rondel beads is quite dark. The size of the rondel beads is 3 mm for 2 mm. Then we will need a size 12 needle and I'm using this one and I'm using PF557 15 o seed beads by toe and 11 o of the same color by toe. So let's get started. So we have to start with the classical uh, module of the right angle weave technique, the first cross. So pick up four rondel beads and bring them at the end of the thread. Pass through the first rondel bead and pull the thread. Pass again through the whole sequence to make uh, the cross stronger. Bring the thread exiting the right rounded bead downwards in this way. Now we have to start the second module. So pick up three rounded beads and pass through the right rounded bead from the top to the bottom in this way and then pull the thread. Pass through the next rondel bead and the other one and we are ready to build the third module. So pick up three rondel beads and pass through the rondel bead on the right from the bottom to the top. Then pass through the next rondel bead and the other one, the external one, and pull the thread. We have to make uh, seven modules. So pick up three more rondel beads and pass through the external rondel bead from the top to the bottom and pull the thread. And again, pass through the next rondel bead and the external one from the bottom to the top. And we have built four modules. We need three more to complete our stripe of right angle weave modules. You can count the modules counting the uh, middle uh, bead. So we have made our stripe and uh, um, I'm going to work now from the internal bead of this stripe. We have to position the stripe in vertical. The thread exits downwards. Pick up three rondel beads and pass through the external rondel bead from the top to the bottom and pull the thread. Then pass through the next rondel bead and the external one. In this part of the work we have to make four modules. So we have made 
two modules uh, and we need to make two more. Pick up again three roundel beads and pass topwards through the external roundel bead, pull the thread again, pass through the next roundel bead, and then the external one, the right one. And finally, pick up again three more blue beads and repeat the same steps. And we have made our top part of the F letter. So now I have to bring the thread exiting the fourth module of the vertical stripe. So one, two, three, four. We have to bring the thread exiting this bead. And how we can do this? simply passing with the needle without adding any bead through the beads and bring the thread exiting this bead. Once you have uh, brought the needle there, pick up again three blue beads and pass through the bead topwards. Pull the thread and pass through the next rondel bead and the external one on the right. Then pick up again three rondel beads and pass downwards through the right bead and pull the thread again. And this is the structure of our F. Pass again through the bottom rondel bead and uh, the side rondel bead. And here we have uh, our F. Now we can start uh, working with uh, our 11O and 15O seed beads. Easy thing uh, we have to do is to uh, pick up one 11O and pass through the next rondel bead. So like uh, I have done already done in the E, as you can see I have put an 11O in each empty space. So, so in the external part we are going to uh, insert to add uh, 11O seed beads and in the internal part we are going to skip the corner and uh, add only one 15 o seed bead but uh, i will show you uh, all the steps uh, in a while pick up one 11 o and pass through the next rondel bead and pull the thread Pick up another 11O and pass through the next rounded bead. Now, as you can see, we have a corner and uh, you have uh, only to pass the needle without adding any bead from one rounded bead to the other one and pull the thread. Here I'm going to add a 15O seed bead in this space and pull the thread again and we have another corner so without adding any bead pass into the next rounded bead and pull the thread. Now simply pick up one 11 o and pass through the next rounded bead and you have to repeat this step for the all the empty spaces in the external part of the F. So fill all the spaces with an 11O and pull the thread. Once you have finished, I will show you how to add a small loop to make a pendant with this F. 
but now we have another corner and uh, you can skip the corner without adding any bead and adding the beads only in the next empty space and the other one. Now if you are working with fireline thread like me I recommend you to pass again the needle through the all the beads to make the F stronger. Uh, once uh, you have uh, made this, uh, this uh, step, uh, you are ready to build the loop on the top of our F to make uh, a pendant with our letter. If you want to make your letter stronger, pass the needle through all the beads and bring the thread at the end, exiting the third bead in the middle of the top of our F. As you can see the needle is exiting the middle bead of the top of the F. Pull the thread and pick up five 15 oset beads and pass again through the same bead from the bottom to the top in this way and pull the thread. Now pass again through all the sequence to make it stronger and once you have finished you can join the two edge of the thread together and cut the thread and our F will be ready. As you can see this is the final result and our F is ready to be used as a pendant uh, or for earrings or whatever you want. Uh, I hope the tutorial is clear. Uh, please, please share it with your friends and uh, with people who might be interested in uh, bead beading techniques and uh, I will make other tutorials and um, if uh, this video will reach uh, 150 likes I will make G the next week. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!